Hi there, my name is John Digliano. I'm a faculty member at the School of Computer Science and Statistics at Trinity College Dublin, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the MSc PG DIP program in computer science, of which I am the course director. Uh, this course is offered in four specialist areas, we call them strands, and they are respectively in the areas of augmented and virtual reality, data science, future network systems, and intelligent systems. If you're wondering what a strand is, it's just a sub-specialization in the course. Each strand is a, like a little course on its own with 25 to 40 students, but they share a number of common elements and also have a number of specialized elements that makes them unique from each other. I'll talk to you a little bit more about these strands in the next uh, few slides. But first, an introduction to the School of Computer Science and Statistics where the course is hosted. So this is one of the largest schools in Trinity College Dublin and it was formed over 10 years ago with the merging of the Department of Statistics and the Department of Computer Science which last year celebrated its 50th birthday. So this was one of the first computer science departments in Ireland. Actually it was part of the Faculty of Engineering at the time and uh, we were also the first to set up a postgraduate uh, course, a Master's in Computer Applications shortly after the department was founded. The course that I'm talking to you about now today, however, is one of our newest courses that has been running only for the last three years. Apart from Trinity College rankings themselves, the school is quite well ranked in its subject area. Uh, we are number one in Ireland in computer science, but also top 100 in the world in the area of computer science and information systems, according to the QS World Ranking System. As I mentioned, the school is one of the biggest in Trinity College, and it has over 65 full-time academic faculty staff, over 150 researchers, comprised of postdoctoral research researchers and research assistants, over 100 PhD students, and over 200 taught postgraduate students, of which you'd, you'd be a part of if you should take up this course. Uh, the school is extremely active in research and lead two of the major national research centers in Ireland. In addition, faculty members collaborate in the other research centers, but also many other research projects, both nationally and internationally funded. So this large school is structured into five disciplines, basically based on the members' uh, um, research areas and teaching interests. These disciplines are kind of clusters or sub-departments of the school, and respectively, they are in the areas of artificial intelligence, graphics and vision, networks and distributed systems, software and systems, and statistics and information systems. And it's interesting to note that four of those five disciplines that we mentioned there are directly tied into those four MSc strands that I introduced at the start of this uh, talk. The school has extensive uh, industry links over the many years, our research links are probably too numerous to list in a single slide, but the ones you see here are currently active links we have with industry on the teaching front. And here, uh, industry collaborate through things like uh, serving on the advisory board, by motivating our curriculum design, by helping us to understand the market needs and in, in, in what kind of skills we need to deliver. They also motivate some of the research projects that we offer to MSc students and in case in some cases they hire our students during the course as interns or after the course uh, as fresh graduates. The college is extremely supportive also of innovation and entrepreneurship and there are numerous funding opportunities to help both staff and students. The companies listed on the right are examples of success stories that have emanated from the school in uh, basically startup companies that became successful. One brief example is Havoc, a company that develops middleware, uh, middleware for the, both the games and movie industry. This company was established about 20 years ago. It was uh, purchased by Intel at around 2007 for 100 million euro. And then after that, it has been acquired by Microsoft.
this somewhat busy slide lists some examples of jobs that our past graduates have undertaken after they completed our MSc in computer science program. The jobs range from software engineering, software development in the IT sector, or jobs such as data analysts or data scientists in the finance, financial or fintech sector. Uh, some students get jobs in digital media companies such as games companies or uh, 3D animation companies like Boulder Media. And finally, a lot of our students end up doing continuing research. They join as PhD students either within the school or in universities abroad. So a little bit about the design of the course and the course structure and content. Uh, all courses in Ireland follow the definitions in the National Framework of Qualifications of Ireland. Uh, under this framework, uh, Masters, MSc or PG DIP fall under the category of a Level 9 award. And the expectations of the Level 9 award are kind of summarized in this slide. Firstly, that uh, students that complete a level nine award should be assumed to have knowledge beyond the bachelor's level and at the forefront of some field of learning, in this case, computer science. They should be expert and have critical awareness of current problems in the area, the tools and the processes involved. They should have the ability to apply this to research or to professional industry. They should have the ability to integrate existing knowledge to solve complex novel problems, basically sometimes with limited knowledge or where a solution doesn't previously exist. Important to note that students should have the ability to work independently or in terms of groups or teams and also to lead or initiate activity. They should be able to communicate their knowledge and their skills and the, the technologies that they're specialized in both to a specialized audience in their own field or to an unspecialized lay audience. And finally, they should be able to learn in a self-directed, autonomous manner, even beyond uh, the course itself. The structure of our MSc program over a full calendar year is presented in the slide. Firstly, Term 1 and Term 2 are taught in a more kind of traditional sense, with timetable classes, lectures, labs, and uh, each uh, culminating in an exam period. Semester 1 starts in September, typically ends around December with a brief exam period. Semester 2 starts in January, ending roughly around April with a brief exam period. Then after the two semesters, the summer period between April and August is dedicated to the research component. Students basically work independently outside of classes on an individual research project. Each of these three components is worth 30 ECTS credits is based on the European ECTS uh, credit system, where each credit is, is equivalent to about 20 to 25 hours of work. Uh, this includes both the classes and also individual study or work or projects time. Uh, each semester is worth 30 credits. And it's interesting to note that most courses, uh, let's say at undergraduate level, a full year is only 60 credits because they take the summer off as a summer holiday. In the case of this course, Students continue to work over the summer so that they can complete the 90 credits required of a typical MSc program in a single calendar year. So this means it's quite a densely packed, intense year, but it means also that students can finish off in a single calendar year, only have to pay one year of fees and only have to take one year out of their lives. So this is kind of the model that has seemed to have fit the, uh, the, the, the way that we teach this course, but also has suited a lot of uh, graduates in the past. More specifically, with regard to the content of the course, firstly, all four strands of the MSc, all students in all four strands, take a number of core modules. These include machine learning, which we consider to be a fundamental element of all four specialization areas, but also ubiquitous in all areas of computer science research and industry these days. And the second part is research and innovation, a five credit module, which teaches you the basics of how to put together a research proposal, uh, elements of research methodology you should be thinking about when you work on your more substantial research project later in the year, and also skills and knowledge about innovation, how uh, novel ideas and technology can be used to create a startup company or for 
individuals to take part in a larger company that innovates. And the, the third component of the, those core modules is obviously the research dissertation itself, worth a full semester, worth of credits. Secondly, each strand has a, a subset of six to seven mandatory modules that specifically define uh, the, the unique specializations related to their strand area. We'll talk a little bit more about this in later slides. And finally, uh, all students have two or three elective modules that they can pick from a common pool of electives. Most of these electives come from the other strands, but also from other courses and schools in Trinity College Dublin. And the whole idea is the core modules provide the fundamentals, the most transferable skills. The strand modules give you the most specialized skills and the options modules allow you to slightly customize your learning towards your individual preferences and tastes and interests. So now specifically about those strand specific modules and the strands themselves. First is the augmented and virtual reality strand. And this strand deals with the theoretical and practical knowledge underpinning the digital entertainment sector, such as computer games, movies, animation. But also these days, uh, the same technologies are employed in many serious non-leisure applications in domains such as engineering, science, and medicine. Some key modules in this strand include things like computer vision, which deals with acquiring digital images from the real world, how we understand, track, and analyze information in images. And this is relevant to areas such as visual effects and communication, but it's also uh, applicable to areas like robotics, or things like drones and driverless cars. Another key module is computer graphics, which deals with representing information on the computer screen. This is obviously used in things like games and virtual reality, but also these days in areas such as medical and scientific simulation, in visual analytics, or even in an industrial visualization. In the second semester, slightly more complicated or more specialized topics are examined, such as real-time rendering and real-time animation, which deals with high-performance, fast creation of complex imagery and creation of accurate, realistic, or complex motions. And in the augmented reality module, different aspects of computer vision and graphics, including things like tracking, are used for novel interaction modalities and for presenting information, virtual information, co-located with uh, real-world information. The second strand is data science. This is one of our most popular strands and we easily get about a thousand applications each year for just 40 places on the course. And this strand leverages the school's unique combination of experts in statistics and computer science, which are ideally placed to deliver the modules and the course content, including research dissertations on the strand. So this strand deals with how to gather and store data using computing technologies or things like Internet of Things or scanners and sensors, how to process it using statistics and techniques such as machine learning, and how to deliver new insights and knowledge from the data through things like data visualizations. So the strand combines statistics, cloud and security technologies with data management and addresses many of the skills and opportunities brought to the front of the big data revolution. The future network system strand is tied in closely with the themes of the National Research Center Connect, which has a long history of innovation in research, startup companies, but also in teaching. Uh, in the areas of networks and distributed systems. Basically, this deals with intelligent and connected technologies that are now being employed for increasingly diverse applications in our everyday lives. So this strand addresses some of the ensuing uh, challenges of dealing with large-scale cyber-physical and distributed systems that pose uh, questions of how do we deliver them in a timely manner, safely, and how to deal with large scale. So key topics in this, in this strand include things like cloud computing, Internet of Things, smart cities, urban computing, and also things like cybersecurity.
The Intelligent System strand focuses on smart, interactive web applications and systems that are becoming uh, integral in our, again, in our daily lives, both at work and at home, and in social interactions, such as in social media applications. But designing and building such systems requires expertise in various areas, such as artificial intelligence, human language understanding, human language generation, web systems and applications, data analytics, and knowledge engineering. This strand is closely related to the, the research and themes of the National Research Center ADAPT, the Center for Digital Content Technology. In addition to those taught modules and the curriculum, all students must complete a substantial 30 ECTS research component in order to qualify for the award of MSc. This project that culminates in a research dissertation takes place mainly during the summer months, mainly outside of the timetable classes and under the supervision of a single faculty advisor. Although I say most work is in the summer, uh, students actually start developing this shortly after they arrive for the course, initially selecting a project and a supervisor, and then formulating a plan for the research during the taught semesters as part of the research and innovation module. The projects that students take are unique to each student and they're, they're done individually, mostly uh, independently by the student with some input from the supervisor. And the topics tend to be aligned with the research uh, of the 65 plus academics that I mentioned earlier in the school. Areas of interest in the school include those on this page, that is artificial intelligence, future cities, digital content technology, cybersecurity, graphics vision, augmented and virtual reality, statistics, data science, future networks, Internet of Things, and software performance and correctness. Some examples of past student research dissertations are listed at the bottom of the slide, but if you want more detail, uh, past projects are publicly available in the school website at the link provided in the middle of the slide. So a little bit about the facilities or what uh, studying at Trinity and on this course would be like. So this course has a dedicated student a lab, in fact, a lab and a full floor of a building called Phoenix House that was set up about three years ago specifically for the MSc students in this course. Uh, this lab has uh, there's a large open room with about 80 uh, seating areas for workstations uh, as well as hot desk for using your own laptops. There are small glass annex breakout rooms on the side for group learning. You'll find that numerous modules on the course have a group work element and these rooms are designed for you to use in, in pursuing those projects. There's a small equipment room for dedicated equipment such as perhaps uh, augmented and virtual reality specialist displays. There's also a common room and a kitchen. In addition to this of course there are various other lecture theaters and meeting rooms and, and labs uh, that are under the, the allocation of the school that you can also use. In addition to the school resources, there are extensive resources made available centrally by the university for students, including on this MSc program. Amongst the highlights includes the extensive Trinity College Dublin Library, with six on-campus buildings which you can access both for the books but also for electronic resources, as well as quiet study rooms if you need space separately from the MSc lab. Uh, the Trinity College Library is considered a copyright library, which means that publishers in UK and Ireland must deposit one copy of all their publications here. So there's a lot of books that you can access. A lot of them are stored outside of college. You can order them through a, a form that you can uh, you can get at the at the physical library on campus buildings. Uh, in general, Trinity, uh, being over 400 years old, established in 1592, you'll find has an interesting mix of historical old traditions and a lot of um, as well as a lot of modern state-of-the-art facilities. There's a vibrant, active student community that has a big impact on how, how, uh, how the college runs even and, and, and uh, the flavor of the college that you get when you get here. The, unlike many universities, Trinity has a dedicated graduate students union specifically for postgraduate students. And this is indicative of how many postgraduate students there are studying at Trinity. The support for specifically international students through the Trinity Global Room. The, the Global Room, there's a, there's a specific room where you can go uh, 
socialize with other international students, uh, ask questions of the staff, and or just generally hang out and get more information. The career service is quite useful and have, often it's been reported to me by the career service that our MSc course with its industrial outlook is one of the most busy clients of the career service. The postgraduate advisory service is a dedicated uh, service provided by the college to, to support and advise students uh, in case they encounter problems such as health issues or personal issues that might affect their learning. You can of course come to us directly, but in some cases students, have to, if they have to go to someone outside of the faculty of their school, the postgraduate advisory service provides a central pastoral advisory service. So I just want to talk a little bit about the entry requirements for the MSc program. The first requirement we have is a good bachelor's degree in computer science or related discipline. What do we mean by good? Typically based on our local assumptions of the degrees that we have here, all students are required to have an upper second class honors in their undergraduate uh, degree in order to gain entry into a postgraduate course at Trinity College Dublin. Upper second class honors, sometimes called 2-1, is essentially 60% or above. In order to accurately compare against international grading systems that might be quite different from us, uh, we rely on a system called NARIC, N-A-R-I-C, which gives us uh, information on how different degrees relate to degrees in Ireland and UK. And what do we mean by computer science or related discipline? Obviously, we take in candidates from computer science and computer engineering and others such as IT and computer applications. But interestingly, we also accept applications and we've had some successful students coming from completely different backgrounds such as maths, sciences and different fields of engineering such as structural or mechanical engineering even and uh, they've done well as long as they've got uh, good undergraduate degrees as I mentioned but also have some formal or informal experience in programming. We'll be looking in your transcripts to see if your programming experience if not you'll be asked to provide some evidence through things like work experience where you might have acquired uh, significant programming skills. In addition to that there is a an entry test, a programming test to judge that you have at least the basic skills. It's not too onerous, it's a 25 to 35 minute online test that you'll be sent. We, we require an English language certification for students from abroad who don't have English as a first language and the level required there is a 6.5 IELTS or equivalent and obviously for some of our strands maths and statistics skills are very important so we also look at the transcripts for previous history of maths and stats scores okay this is particularly important for strands such as data science and uh, augmented and virtual reality that rely on a lot of mathematical skills and knowledge to do well in addition some looser guidelines we expect students to be able to work independently, have a strong work ethic and commitment. As I mentioned, the course is quite uh, uh, intensive over a single calendar year, so there's not much time for, for relaxing, I'm afraid. Um, and also the course is not a conversion course. We don't teach programming from scratch. We don't teach computing from scratch. If you're coming from a different background, you might succeed if you have strength in other areas like maths, but it'll largely be up to you to learn how to program and to, to pick up the tools that are going to be introduced to you. Just be advised again that it's a very practical course so you might find yourself often with four or five projects running parallel at the same time so you need to be quite efficient and there's no time within the course once you join to pick up these skills from scratch. Okay. The other thing is early application is advised. We typically open applications around October but particularly in those uh, heavier or more popular strands of data science and intelligence systems we we usually have enough candidates to fill the course in the first two months so early application with the complete applications that is 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 advised it's important that your application is quite complete when submitted otherwise it uh, it doesn't have the advantage of applying early if you're missing documents we can't process the application to the programming test uh, in those bigger strands until the missing documents first arrive okay more information on uh, application process application requirements course structure information on the modules frequently asked questions 
and, uh, and other things like past, uh, past dissertations is available on our course website, which is a subset of our school website, scss.tcd.ie. I suggest looking at those links. You also find uh, 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 addresses for further contact details on this page. Uh, I should mention that because, because the course is quite big, typically between 100 to 140 students, there's a, a specific strand leads associated with each strand. So these are faculty academics that are assigned to be specifically mindful of the curriculum development and the specific needs of individual strand students. So these in, in particular as a quick intro for augmented and virtual reality, Prof. Michael Manske, for data science, Prof. Mimi Zhang, for future network systems, Prof. Melanie Baroche, for intelligence systems, Prof. Gay Stevens. Also at the bottom are the names of some course administrators that you might encounter during the applications process. Course administrator Sarah Jade Evenden, but typically you probably only talk to Sarah after you've accepted and uh, taken up a, a place on the course. More likely you'll encounter uh, initial discussion with Margaret Murray, who's our admissions officer, and Hester Jackman, who is our international officer, a global officer who deals with international student applications specifically. Um, contact details for myself and the strand leads are in earlier slides in this talk, but I would uh, suggest that you, in all cases, you email or at least CC the address that you see there, postgraduate at scss.tc.ie, because then your uh, email will be queued on a ticketing system and the admin staff will forward on to the most uh, applicable person to answer your query, okay? So that's it for me. A uh, quick summary of the MSc in Computer Science program. Hopefully I've answered most of the questions that you might have. More details, as I mentioned, on the course website or through direct inquiry through those links, okay? Apart from that, I hope to see you again. Or actually, I hope to see you in the not too distant future. Uh, and I hope you'll take up the, uh, you apply for a course in our program. Thanks a million.